So, what's next on the list? Well, according to my calculations, the next item you should attempt with a 92% achievement probability is number 143, Kiss Scott Danoga. <laughs> Isn't that the buffoon who wears the same jeans every day? Whee! Why would you put that on your list? You know, I've actually been thinking about that, and I'm pretty sure I meant to write Kick Scott Danoga. So I'll just go ahead and make a quick correction to the list here. <laughs> Uh, what was that? Time glitch! A rift in the very fabric of the space-time continuum, which could give Chaos Bots an opening to jump into our timeline! So it's not a good time glitch, then? No! Haley, this item is no bigger deal than any of the others. In fact, according to my research, human kissing is quite simple. It simply involves briefly interlocking your two face holes. Oh, Beta! Look, I know you don't always get human stuff, but Scott is my best friend. And yes, part of me wonders, what if we were more than friends? But then the other part of me knows that that would risk making things totally weird between us and ruin the great thing we already have. But then that first part of me knows the truth is that I like him. I never even said it out loud, but yes, for some reason, I like Scott Denoka. Hey guys, what you talking about? Ah, nothing! Certainly not you, Scott. The world does not revolve around your lips. I mean, your face hole. I mean, any part of your body. <laughs> okay. You know you're sitting in glue, right? As a joke. <laughs> oh, glue pants! Good one! So, Beta, what's the next list item? As I was explaining to Haley, she's supposed to give you a, a present for Christmas, which is at the end of the year. So let's just plan to do that one later. I love you. Sure, why not? It's only the fate of the world at stake. Okay, okay. It looks like the next most optimal item is number 239. Ride every ride at the county fair. There we go. That sounds fun. Wait, did you say county fair? Man, remember the last time you went to the county fair? Yes. And you went on the Zero Gravitron and barfed in front of everyone? Yes. And Christine Sanchez accidentally live-streamed the whole thing and then everyone called you Hurley for the next month? I said I remember! That was hilarious! <laughs> I, I mean, not, not for you, for everyone else. <sighs> so, Beta, what's the next, next item? Oh, come on, Haley. I know you're scared, but you can do this one. You know, I was scared once, too. Back in the third grade, after all my Halloween candy was stolen by those burglars who left the empty wrappers in your trash can. Ugh! Burglars! But the next year, I got right back out there and trick-or-treated harder than ever. I even got a king-sized Keith bar! Keith bars are disgusting. So disgusting! But it was king-sized! Point is, the county fair is nothing to be afraid of. Especially since I'm gonna be there every step of the way! Thanks, Scott. You're a great friend. But just a friend. Yeah, I know. Would you two just kiss already? Yeah, I love you. What did he say? Let's go to the fair! Okay! Ark! A western power casts its shadow upon the eastern giant! I like those little robots! <laughs> Is that... a sardine? Ah! <laughs> You're mine! So, all under control! Thanks, Beta! Good luck! How dare she thwart my brilliant sabotage! This means war. Gee, who knew the beach would be so warm? I'd sure be a fan of something that could cool me down. Pun intended and well executed. The Breeze Blaster 4000? The world's most powerful battery-operated fan? Which just so happens to be available in my parents' store. Fans Plus! What a coincidence! Yeah, that's a huge coincidence! I'm starting to think AC buried some of that stuff beforehand. The cheat! Oh, yeah. Black Plague, the sacking of Rome, shampoo in thine eyes, tragedies all. What small compared to this? Look, the beans? Is that seaweed? Mm. 
Yeah, it's seaweed. Fire! Welcome to Haddington, selling you a hat again. No shenanigans, any hat on a platter, man. Hats. Every shape and style. Hats. Adult or child. Come in and grab a brim. Welcome to Haddington. Yes. Hat on a hat on a hat on a hat. What could be better than that? Sombrero, sombrero. Wish I were a sombrero instead of a lame beret. Three million four hundred ways to hide your head. Why bother washing your hair? Just cover it instead. Am I a hat? In my dreams, I cover the whole head instead of being just a brim. It's adorable, yeah, yeah, unignorable, yeah, yeah. With the softest brim, a dented crown, it's the slickest thing in town. It's adorable. <laughs> the reason we're excited, Beta, is because, according to our calculations, the next most optimal list item is number 178. Win first prize at the Oceanside Fish Taco Festival. Hey, that's my line. But you are right, and I do love your enthusiasm, so let's get started! What is going on here? We give you the perfect taco! We solve the equation that the world's brightest minds have been working on for thousands of years. The perfect ratio of taco to fish. Haley used science, and I used my butts. My taste buds. It's taste buds, you Neanderthal. We have science, my dad's sour poi, and Scott's mom's famous kimchi on our side. It's time to get cooking. Secret ingredient, sweet onion dingles. Oh. It's the perfect taco. Almost too good to eat. Almost. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This is the best fish taco with no fish I've ever had. Oh, right. We need to figure out what fish to use. Beta, what have we got? All you have is Mama Ishi's fishy stickies. Fish sticks? This isn't the rinky-dink San Clemente Fish Taco Festival, Beta. People drive tens of miles to enter this competition. Hey! What are you kids doing up so early on a Saturday? Aww. Who crumbled my dingles? It was for science. Dad, do you know what the tastiest fish is? Do I? Does a turtle poop in its shell? Uh... No, it doesn't. But yes, of course I know. The secret is, the meaner the fish, the tastier the fish. Really? Then what's the meanest fish? Whoa, how do you get over there so fast? Let me tell you the tale of the meanest, the biggest, and therefore the tastiest fish in all of Oceanside Bay, One-Eyed Jack. Uh, Dad, can you just tell us? Guess not. I was on my paddleboard, one with the sea, poised and strong. Once I was out past the brakes, I stopped for some sweet onion dingles. And as I filled my belly, an angry force knocked me off my board. I tried to swim to the surface, but the riptide was pulling me deeper. That's when I saw the one-eyed monster coming straight for me. His mouth wide open. <laughs> next thing I knew, I woke up on the beach next to my broken board. It's a miracle I'm still alive. I looked in that Ono's eye. I saw his soul, and it was mean. Whoa, he sounds delicious. If you want to win the festival, we need that one-eyed Ono. Just get me in the ocean. I'll catch him. Dad, any idea where we can get a boat? Welcome to the stage, Soulmate! Hatsu Hatsu! First up, 
Respectful Young. Next up, Magnetic May. <laughs> This third guy's the charm. It's Charming Chat Queen. <laughs> Dare I say who's next? Pretty sure that wink was for me, Hales. So did you buy? It got the mission. So makes every day we say winning. Don't let your face stop when the beat drops like ooh. Only got one thing to do. I get to the sweet. Stop! It's go time. Aw, but we just got here. And I just bought a pretzel. No, I mean, let's start the plan. First, secure the twins. Goodbye, pretzel. I hardly knew ye. No one now you feelings up forever. Yeah, but you can spark making my heart go soon, soon, soon. Don't worry, Hales. I'll get his attention with this sick bad book. I need you in my life. Don't wanna picture you out of my sight. Give me the da, the child of name. We're gonna meet you, June! Quick, grab the twins. Maybe he'll sign one of them for us. Uh, Haley? <gasps> we have to find them! Um, would you kind, tall gentlemen be willing to give me a boost? <laughs> okay, you go high, I'll go low. <sighs> Mother of me! Guys! Surf me the other way! No! Your other, other way! Phew! Hey, Hales! Scott! My mom is here! Having fun! Having fun? Are you sure it's your mom? Any luck finding Dwayne and Johnson? Not yet! But maybe we can ask those kids on stage! <gasps> the twins! Team, get me to the stage! Okay, this is harder than I thought. Look on the bright side. You made 10% commission on that last one. What's wrong with me? Why can't I just find a girl to be my friend? Hey, so you guys might hear some loud cracking sounds over here. Well, that's just me trying out my sick new bull whip. So no need to get the authorities involved, okay? <gasps> yes! Scott, your sister! She'll be fine. At least it's nothing explosive. No, no, no. I could be friends with Becker. Sure, she's a year younger than me and has some peculiar interests. Sweet! But we have lived next to each other pretty much our whole lives. Yeah. I mean, honestly, she could use a friend not named Bonesaw, or Buzzsaw, or Chainsaw, or Paul. Oh, Paul is the worst. <laughs> Victory! Becker, was that the girl? No. Maybe. You know what? I think I changed my mind. No worries. I'll just call Christine. Actually, this will be fine. What are you multibags doing in my room? Oh, hey, Becker. Long time no see. It's me, Haley. Banks. You know, from living next door to you your whole life. Well, if I'd known I was having company, I would have tidied up the place. <laughs> There. Becker, Haley needs to hang with you today, okay? Who knows? Maybe you'll even become friends. And in exchange, I'll make sure they count the time against your community service. I was gonna spend the day checking some old tires off a cliff with Buzzsaw, but I guess I could clear my calendar. Great! I brought a Junior Classic Birdhouse kit for us to build together. Yeah, sounds cool. Punch buggy! Punch 
Drivers a crank? No, that's the city motto. We came all the way out here for this? At least the food must be good. Oh, it's really not. It's cooked by rats. <gasps> what? <laughs> Whoa, check out that sign. Health inspection grade F? No, that other sign. World's deepest ball pit. Last one in sits by the bathroom on the way home. Oh, heck no. Wait, I don't want to do that. I don't know about this. I don't think they clean this ferry ever. Come on, Christine. You don't want to miss your chance to swim in the world's deepest ball pit. Yeah, odds are good this place is going to be condemned any day now. Well, I guess I could try. Here, I'll help. Ah! <gasps> my hat! I lost my hat! I need my hat! It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we'll find it. Shoot, we must have sunk way down. Who knew there was a downside to the world's deepest ball pit? I am not leaving without my hat. Oh! Welcome to the Puzzle Dome. But first, reach under your seats, kids, for a special surprise. Now, prepare yourself for the world's most awe-inspiring, death-defying, electrifying cube puzzle stunt team, the Cubics Dudes! White Knight, Steel Peel, Pink Links, Green Machine, Violet Pilot, and Orange Guy! <laughs> is awesome. So what was the purpose of doing this during school? I mean, even those unicyclers last week did songs about math. Remember, kids, plaque is whack. Ah, there it is. You're my floor ride or die, Fraley. Fraley? You're welcome. Hey, Fraley, I mean Haley. I've been doing a lot of thinking over the past seven minutes, and I really think cubing's my new thing. Scott, cubing isn't that easy. It's a complex puzzle that requires... Done. ...skills you apparently have? You're a natural, bro. Well, hello, Mr. Lings. Allow me to... Oh, what the beans? Ahem. As I was saying, Mr. Lings, you may address my autograph as follows. To my most brilliant and tall fan, AC, who is exceptional in all ways, but mostly in intelligence and also in height, I humbly bequeath... Ah, my hand! It's completely <laughs> locked up! Uh-oh. Looks like Cuber's wrist. It's gonna be okay, little buddy. It is not gonna be okay. If he can't cube, who will do the show tomorrow? We need someone with natural skill. Who also fits an adult medium sweatshirt. Ah, oh, you'll never find a replacement for me. You think some schlub off the street could do what I do? This schlub can. I think we found ourselves a replacement. Wait, are you serious? Of course we're serious, for my name isn't Green Machine. Is your name Green Machine? It's Jeff. And your new name is Pink Lynx. Time for a photo shoot. Let's go. But Spot, what about the owl habitat? I'll still be able to help. Don't worry. I'm worried. Meet Frank. <laughs> he says he's happy to meet us. I speak flamingo. Sure, and I speak unicorn. <laughs> Frank also says you snack on the dog treats when no one's looking. Okay. So, new plan. Instead of a puppy, we adopt the flamingo. Seriously, you want him? I mean, great! Just sign here. Now that you've signed this legally binding agreement, I need to be frank. This flamingo can be a bit of a burden. Get it? Burden? <laughs> Dang! That joke always kills a baby. What is that <laughs> smell? Oh, uh... Ha! 
Medically speaking, Frank's what we call old and weird. Make sure he takes one of these pills every 30 minutes for his stomach issues, or he'll cough up wet feather balls. <laughs> hey, there's one now! Oh, and don't let him around any shrimp. He'll shrimply go crazy. <laughs> anyway, we're closed now, so bye. We did it, Carl. Party time! So he isn't young or cute or quiet or nice smelling or fluffy. But he's mine, according to a lot of paperwork. <laughs> okay, so. We can still train Frank to be obedient and quiet and then introduce him to my mom when she's in a really good mood. I mean, post-Saturday brunch good mood. So, what lovable pup did you adopt? A poodle? A Dotsund? A flamingo? <laughs> Why is he looking at me like that? <laughs> Frank, stop! Sit! Next! <laughs> Haley? What is going on up there? Haley, I need you to keep it down. You know this is the week I agreed to be on that awful reality show. Bet you can't sell my mansion. Um, is that my shirt? Yes, I was told to young it up and look swag for my celebrity clients, the swag bros. Wait, do I not look swag? Let me try on one of your other shirts. No, no, you look swag. Yeah, like <laughs> swiggity, swiggity swag. <laughs> is that a swag dance? I might have to use that. Also, can you please clean your room and use lots of air freshener? Okay, thanks, bye. <sighs> well, Frank, I believe in you. But we better get to work if you're going to be the best pet ever. Jump in the bed, make it a splash. Scroll until you shine like gold. Yeah. Diamond in the rough, strutting your stuff. Show them you can break the mold. Well, it, it is warm. Talking the talk, walking the walk, getting there with all your soul. We're gonna rock, 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 till we rock and roll. Your dog is old and weird. Hey, my flamingo is old and weird. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah, the Oceanside Lighthouse. Good for lots of things. Attracting mice, blocking the ocean view, Basically everything except being a lighthouse. That's right, folks. The Oceanside Lighthouse is the pride and joy of renowned inventor P.H. Florence. Yep, that's my great-great-grandpa. See the resemblance? Yeah, me neither. Movie stars, dignitaries, they're all here to shake the hand of felonious Hapgood Florence and witness his state-of-the-art marble, the Oceanside Lighthouse. That is, until Florence realized his folly. He hard-mounted the light backwards. Oh, what a thing, that. Meanwhile, the all-powerful light blazed through town. <laughs> Don't worry, I can fix it. But he couldn't fix it. The people on land couldn't see, and the people at sea couldn't see the land. See? An angry mob made sure the lighthouse would never shine again. I told you this thing was cursed. Our lanterns were just fine. Round buildings just ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what people say about my great-great-grandpa. He's so inspiring to me. I mean, his work was ambitious and gutsy. I'm proud the lighthouse is part of our family. Uh, Haley, it may not be in your family for long. Look. For sale? But the only one who could sell the lighthouse is my... Mom? Of course I'm selling the lighthouse. It doesn't work, it's ugly, and it's full of rats. You've got Patricia. Oh, yes, the lighthouse is gorgeous and pet-friendly. A vertical wonder. Buy it before it's gone. Were you done with that conversation? Always leave them wanting more. Mom, you can't sell the lighthouse. I mean, it's part of our history. No, Haley, it's a blight on the city and needs to be torn down. I already have a buyer coming by this weekend. No, there must be another way. I'm sorry, Haley, but it's time to say goodbye. The lighthouse can't be fixed. We'll see about that. Oh, ew! Frank, I told you this isn't your personal hot tub. 
Okay, Beta, try the pump again. Never get to do what I want. Oh, I got a list too. A list of complaints. Did it work? Ah! All right, now that you've wasted half my day doing your chores, let's get back to the list. According to my calculations, your next most optimal list item is number 232, learn to walk in high heels. Why would that be next? Presenting Princess Christine. The carpet. Huh? Oh, right. Presenting Princess Christine and the carpet. For you, fair maiden. Ah! Haley, will you be my dama? Yes, of course. Quick question, what's a dama? It means you'll be on the court of honor for my quinceanera. That's a big party we have in my culture when you turn 15 to celebrate going from a girl to a hashtag woman. <laughs> and the theme I chose is epic medieval majesty. <laughs> wow, that sounds majestic. It is. And Scott's going to be my chambelan de honor. That translates to main dude. Not quite. And we all get to do a big waltz at the reception. In front of people? I don't know, Christine. Oh, please, 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 please. I was gonna partner you with my cousin oh, Mario. I... Would love to dance with Mario. If it helps, I am also available to pick him up at the airport. <laughs> you are gonna look so incredible, especially in these. Ice figs. Oh, good. If I can't walk in them, at least I can scale a glacier. Silly. All you need to walk in high heels is practice. You'll be a pro in no time. You got it! You're doing it! Work it, girl! Ah! Confidence is key. Now you try. Work it, girl! Mm. At least you stood all the way up that time. Now come on, it's time to shop for our dresses! You mean that's not your dress? This is my party planning dress. By the way, my older cousins are taking a weekend off from their runway modeling careers to come to. They're identical triplets, but they're easy to tell apart. Selena is the radiant one, Talia is the beautiful one, and Paulina is the gorgeous one. Great! Sounds like this will do wonders for my self-esteem. Right? It's gonna be so much fun! Hey, mamacita. Can we just use my list as bait already? When the world's most advanced supercomputer tells you something's too risky, it's too risky. I've got an idea. This ought to be good. Chaos bots are always trying to stop you from completing your list items, right? So maybe we should just pick an easy list item to do, and it'll show up. That's actually not a bad idea. Even the dumbest squirrel finds a nut once in a while. Beta, we're not tracking a squirrel. We're tracking a chaos bot. All right. Let's find something quick and easy. Hey, stop that! Learn to juggle. Easy. <gasps> okay, maybe not super easy. Here, I know how to juggle. You've just got to go tossy, tossy, grabby, grabby, tossy, No, no, tossy, you tossy, have to grab the topmost thrown object while this three quarters tossy, pressed tossy, it. Tossy. Enough! We need something easier. Yeah, too bad that Sanjay guy isn't here right now because it'd be super easy for you to get that kiss item uh -huh. out of the way. Yes, that would be easy. Uh, Scott, about that. There's actually something I should probably tell you. We're running out of time. I'm using the list as bait. Uh... It's better work. Oh, it'll work. Look! Oh, right. This one can fly. 
time to bring out the big guns. Front to the back, know what it is when I jump on the track. Front to the back, know what it is when I jump on the track. Front to the back, know what it is when I jump on the track. Whoa, big enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thing I've ever seen you do. You beta believe it. Beta! This seems not good. If Scott's heartbroken, fix it. How long do humans need to get over a heartbreak? Half an hour? 45 minutes? Trust me, if I knew a way to get Scott out of his slump, I'd do it. Looking for a way to get a friend out of a slump? Look no further than beautiful Catalina Island. Fun time zip lines, mini golf, a ferry with karaoke. Falconry snorkeling, chocolate malts. If you're sad, you soon won't be on Catalina Island. It's perfect. That's exactly how I'll cheer Scott up. And once Scott's cheered up, you can spill your guts to him at Cuddle Cove, rated the most romantic restaurant in the world, in 1989. Wow, I can't believe I'm really gonna tell Scott I like him. Just thinking about it makes my hands sweat, and I can hear my heartbeat. That'll go away, right? <laughs> but first, Operation Get Scott Over Christine. On to Catalina. Scott's gonna have a blast. We're having the best. My jubilation is off the charts. I think a joy bomb went off in my heart. We're having the best day of our lives. Full of fun and big smiles and high fives. Only happy tears falling from our eyes. We're having the best day, best day of our lives. <sighs> Only one thing could be better. That's it today. Nothing gotten him out of his funk. This stuff is legitimately fun and totally on brand for Scott. He's won three separate raffles today. Well, I got the last reservation at Cuddle Cove for 6.35. So you have until then to fix that. You're my best friend, Scott. So today, we're gonna do whatever you want. <gasps> a day of Scott? Yeah, Scott's big day. I prefer a day of Scott. Okay, first decision made. I know. Let's do something for my list. So when Scott found out about my list, he started making his own. No one asked him to, and we've never completed any of his items because they're all very... Number four, count every grain of sand. Very Scott. Ooh, number 17, watch two monster kaiju fight in real life. Number 37, pull a hat out of a rabbit. We like that one? Okay, okay, what about this? Number 67, ghost sandwich. What does that even mean? What do you think it means? Scott, these are great. They're just a tad... Idiotic. Haley, I gotta make this quick. I've got Rolling Stone tickets for tonight. Here are the gadget blueprints you asked for. Wow, you gotta tell me your skincare routine. How do you still look 14? Because I am still 14. Oh, crackers! I totally portaled to the wrong time! You're whiny teen, Haley. I need middle-aged, certain she'll move out of Reno, Haley. You're not supposed to invent that machine for another 25 years. Take a back ah! Don't use that machine! Whoa. The stones are still performing in 50 years? Well, I should probably destroy these future blueprints, I guess. Although, a quick peek couldn't hurt. I mean, I, I will see them eventually. Cool, future blueprints. And a goose. I'm sorry, didn't you hear the genius from the future say not to build that thing? She said not to use it. She said nothing about building it. And I'm the one who invents it anyways. Present me knows future me would want past me to not let this future present go past me. <laughs> Wait, weren't we going to do stuff I wanted to do today? Oh, right, yeah, totally. I just want to do one thing real quick. Wow, this jacket makes me feel incredible. As of today, 
Haley Banks is nobody's doormat. <gasps> uh, take everything I have! 12 cents and a sandwich punch card! Oh, Haley, I didn't recognize you with this new vibe. Can I get some advice? I know Christina and I broke up, but ever since she came back, I've had some strange feelings start to... I'm gonna stop you right there, boss. Whatever it is, move on. You don't know how? Allow me to demonstrate. Whoa. Whoa! Travel! Travel's my middle name. Travel! Oh, oh, absolutely not. Hey, Tina. I've been hard at work on our project. How's your grandma? Hmm? Still sick? Oh, yeah. Super sick. Really? Because she looks fine to me. <laughs> Listen up. I'm not taking your bologna anymore unless it's served to me on a sandwich. Now you're gonna finish our project and get us an A. No, A plus. Understood? That's what I thought. We can match. I run the numbers, and you need to crochet a matching blanket for my pillow now! Doesn't sound like a list item. But it does sound super comfy. You want a blanket? Here's your blanket. Now cheese off. Whoa, where did all this attitude come from? Because it is working. It's the jacket, man. As regular Haley, I doubt myself and overthink everything. But as leather jacket Haley, I feel so cool. I never want to take it off. Kitchen of good vibes. Sunshine and blue skies. It's feeling, feeling like the world's been in my way. Every step that I take is magic. Haley, I'm a donkey. Uh, I got it so smooth. Huh? Arms on me is blue. It's feeling, feeling like the world's been in my way. Haley, can you... No, sir, I am not a donkey. <laughs> All right, gotta get to work. Viral idea, viral idea. <gasps> I got it. Don't bother, Scott. I've been working on an app for years, and this is the perfect chance to show it off. Take a video of yourself with my filter. Hey, yo. <laughs> You've been bugged, <laughs> get it? <laughs> No. You're using a prank filter called Fly on the Wall. It ruins any video by adding a fly in the background. <laughs> you see? That fly isn't really there. Oh, man. Joke is on you. <laughs> hey, I look pretty good. Can you send me that? Ugh, my genius is wasted on you. Okay, what boneheaded idea do you have anyway? Okay, ask yourself, what's funnier than a fart? The answer, nothing. So imagine a world where your phone makes a fart sound every time you blink. Like a virtual whoopee cushion. I call it the fart blink. Psh, that's a massive fail if I've ever heard one. No. -uh. Yeah, huh? I'll prove it. Here's a beta version. Just whipped it up real quick. <sighs> blink powered farts. Pretty lame, huh? Right, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. We want our blinks to make farts. Who came up with this? Uh, we did. It's ours, both of ours. Scott, after careful consideration, I've decided to lend my expertise to your little project. With your idea and my super genius coding abilities, we'll be unstoppable. Wow, AC. I'm honored you want to help bring the fart blink to life. <laughs> sure, whatever. But hey, drop the the. Just fart blink. Teach a cat to play the piano Roller skate all the way to Orlando Use my earwax 